10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Hello. Place goes outside today. We're at a village called Linton, Linton in Craven, and it's in Yorkshire. A very small village. From where I'm standing on this bridge, I can see just about everything in the village. There's an inn, and there's a village green, and a few farms, and some cottages, and there's one shop, only one shop. It's the post office. Carol's there now. She's buying some things. And he's the Hello. postmaster at the post office here. Hello. It's only a little post office. Oh, it's only very small. Isn't it? But only a small village. I was Mr Pickle's first customer this morning, and I got some groceries and uh, some postcards. I must post them in the wall here. It's very quiet here. There's not much happening, but you listen. There are some noises. Yes, those are rooks. They are quite big birds. You can see how big they are by the size of their nests. They're very high up in the trees there. Yes, uh, sometimes they build them much lower. If they build the nest high in the trees, yeah. then they know it's going to be fine and warm. They can build them much lower, and sometimes they do. Those are old nests there, and very soon now they will be pulling those down and then building new nests for the spring. I see. And so if they're high, then it'll mean that it'll be a good summer again next year. Well, everybody in the village looks out to see how high the crows are building their nests. But if Mr Pickles, that side of the road, there aren't any nests at all. Well, why is that? Well, uh, sometimes the young ones do try to build the nests across at that side of the road. Yes. But as soon as the older crows see them, they come along and they destroy the nests. They won't let them be. So they must like this side of the road better than the other side for some reason. Yes, yes. Sergeant Gaines, and this is Police Constable Middleton. 
we're the policemen in this uh, area and we come to this village, the village of Linton, nearly every day. Uh, we have a lot of other little villages round about and to get there we use this minivan. Um, we uh, come to the same place in the village uh, several times in the day and we always come near a telephone box like this behind us. Uh, because we get calls from our headquarters. In fact, I'm expecting one very shortly. Uh, the reason why we have to use the telephone is we have a radio in the van, but uh, it isn't very good round here because it's so hilly. And uh, well, it's, it's there now, the telephone. Now, while Mr Middleton is taking that call, I'll just show you what we have in the van. We have some of these cones that we use at accidents. Uh, we stand these round the back of the crashed cars to try and stop other cars running into them. And at night, we put one of these on the top. Now, as you can see, it lights, and as they warm up, they start to flash. You see, they sit on the top like that. And we have these signs that we can put out on the road on both sides of the accident to stop people running into it. We carry a first aid kit. That, that's to, so that we can see to anybody that's hurt before the ambulance comes. And we carry a toolkit uh, for getting anybody out that may be trapped. Uh, oh, is there anything? Everything OK? Oh, good. Uh, well, when we've done, uh, when we come to the village, we don't go straight away. We stay in the village for a short time uh, in case any of the local people want to tell us anything. And in the summer, we have an awful lot of visitors. And um, we get all sorts of questions asked us. Hello. Hello. Can you help me? Do you know I'll where I'm going to find to uh, get a cup of tea or coffee? Um, yes, I think we can get one at the inn. You see, questions. These are the sort of questions can we you get. Me? Yes, I will, with pleasure. All right. Mr Pickles tells me that the uh, mobile library is coming in a minute, and I want to see that. But I think I've got time for a cup of coffee first. <laughs> yes, I hope so. Hello, Mrs. Gardner. Hello. I have a couple of friends of mine here that would like a cup of coffee. Do you think you can fix them up? Yes, certainly. Oh, oh lovely. Lovely. Oh, thank Good. you. Are they coming in? No, the library's coming. I'll just nip over and give him a hand to park. All right, I'll see you later. OK. Bye. Right, bye-bye. Yes. Are you going? Yes, I must go. I want okay. to catch it. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye.
there's the mobile library. There's mine. You see, it's a van and it's full of books. And it comes every week to Linton because there isn't a library here and it goes to other villages as well. It's very busy here, isn't it? It's busy, yes. Hello, Callum. Hello. Hello. I like your jackets. Have you noticed the children's jackets? Why do you wear them? You wear them in the winter, don't you? Yes, so the cars can see us on the way to school. Oh, I see. Do you have far to come then? I don't have very far, but I've got to wear them because there's no footpaths. Oh, I see. And no lights, I suppose? No. It's quite dark. Yes. So very nice to see. They go all the way around. So cars can see you from the back as well as at the front. Yes, yes. Very good. You've got a lot of books there, Canon. They don't all belong to me. I just come to exchange them. Some people are ill and some are too old to get here. So not all mine. Oh, I thought you read a lot. Bye. <laughs> well, have you had them stamped? Yes. Good. Let's see what you've got. That whale. Ooh. Great big whale. Oh, a whale, that one. And what's yours? Fireman. Fireman. That looks a good book, doesn't it? Yes. Do you live round here? No, I live at Freshfield. Oh, do you? But you come here to play, don't yes. you? Yes. On the green, over yes. there? Yes. And yes. there's a maypole, isn't yes. there? We yes. dance around the maypole. Do you? In summer. Oh, oh, in the summer when it's warmer? Yes. What about you? Do you dance around? No, summer? I'm a bit young yet. Oh, yeah? I've got to wait till I'm eight. Because I can't dance around the maypole yet. Oh, I see. Will it be long until you're eight? No, it's not. Oh, well, that's quite soon, isn't it? Yes. And there's a stream down there. Yes. Do you play around there as well? Yes, we catch a fish in it. Oh, do you? Yes. That's lovely. I bring, I bring my boat down and sail it down the river. That would be a good idea to sail boats down there, wouldn't it? Yes. yes. Let's go and have a look. Or better tell the cannon where we are. Yes. yes. Cannon, we're just going down to the beck to have a look at it. So will you tell the other two? I'll children? tell them, yes. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. you. Let's go and see. It would be good to sail boats down there. Mrs. Boothman's promised to show us something in this barn. Let's go and see what it is. Oh, it's muddy. Did you guess? Mrs. Mm -hmm. Boone was going to bring a white one. Oh, we've got. Oh, you've got, got two. Them. Oh, look at that. There. Here's a white Can one. Can you have that one? Yes, I'll hold this one. There's a black one. That's it. How old are they? Well, these two are the youngest, and they're on their fortnight old. But those two there with the mum were born on the 6th of January. Oh, they're getting old. Yes. So you're only warm. They like yeah, snuggling, don't they? Really? Well, this one's got horns already. And this one Coming has, out. look. Oh, a bigger this one's a bigger. Mm. These will be like his mum when he grows up. Yeah. Are these brother and sister? or? or... They are brother and sister, are they? but they don't look like it, they? Do don't they? look it, do they? No. Yeah. With hoofs the, and this one's a, called a Jacob. I see. Is that um, because of the colouring? Because of the marking? Yes, because see, he's black and white. He's got a white tip to his tail as well. But the black and white, you know, it can vary because the other two down there aren't just the same as this one. Why is this white? It just happens, it happens to be white. Well, we think its grandfather was a white tub, you see. I see. That's yes. complicated, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do they have the hair cut off, the wool cut off? Uh, these two won't have theirs cut off this year, but sheep that are a year old have theirs cut off because it's grown yeah. longer and thicker, you see. Yeah. So they've got to wait till they're two, have they? Mm. Before they have it. And the off. mothers will have theirs cut off. Yeah. Sometimes when it's very cold at night, actually, the little lambs sit on the mother's back, and you can just see there the wool's pulling off a little bit, and it's because the lambs catch the feet in the wool. When they're sitting on their backs? 
They like to sit on the backs when it's frosty, yes, yeah, and jump there. on the mums. Yes, they get very cold. Well, these lambs mm. have been kept inside because it's early in the year. Yeah. But later on, uh, when it starts getting when it's when it's warm, perhaps in April, then they'll stay out all the time. Oh well, they go frisking across mm. the meadow. Carol would love to see these lambs. Wouldn't she? Yeah. Do you think we could bring her later on? I'm sure we could. See if we've got time. I um, had one last year. Do you know what to call him? Black Spider. Because he was black all over except for a little white spot just there. Uh, and he was very little when he was born and his legs stuck out. And I had like to feed spider. him inside with a bottle. <laughs> and when he walked on the kitchen floor, he skidded and he landed on his tummy and his feet stuck out. <laughs> like a spider. <laughs> just like a spider, yes. <coughs> except oh. he hadn't eight legs. There. I did find his name. Susan, how many have we got? And the finished ones. Four. So, oh, these are the last two then. Right, come on then. Push it right at the end, and then it will. Is that all right? Can you manage for? That's one of Are you choosing yours, Susan? Which? No, all white ones are Oh, I think. That's what I think also. Have you done that? Oh, you've done yours, Nicholas. Oh, oh, I'm a bit slow here. Hold on. We're, uh, we're making balloon boats. And we're going to have a race. We're going to race from here, down the beck, to the bridge. Right, have we finished them now? Yes. All right? Right. That, uh, I'll have three to start with. Now, who's is this one? Oh, oh, Johnny, we're having a race. Uh, oh. Here Where you are, to? you can have that balloon, all right? Yeah, where are you racing to? Down to the next uh, bridge. Oh, I'll get down there. Who's Susan? coming? Who's is Johnny? this? Johnny? Mm -hmm. Is that yours, I'll John? Right. Right. Hold on then. This is Johnny's, mine and Susan's, OK? Take the other ones as well. Wait a minute. Pull them. Come all together. Pull Do you know which is which? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> I've forgotten which is mine. Right. Come on. They're coming. <laughs> I think they're all... Oh, no, they're still breaking out. Oh. Oh, they're all together. That, that's Susan's at the front, I think, isn't it? No, it's Matt. This is the one in the lead. Is that right? yours? Oh, sorry, John, I didn't realise. Oh, mine's right at the end. Oh, come on. Oh, look. It's getting stuck. The three stuck together it's there. It's going to go into the side. No, it's not. Mine's on the left. Those are all bunched up. Let's have a look and see what it looks like from the bridge. Come on. <laughs> Well, there's two there. Who's the other one? I think the other one's mine. Yeah. Yeah. It's mine. Mine's winning then. Come on, Paul. Mine's second. <laughs> Come on. This is... Yeah. Oh, oh yours is catching up. Oh, oh, that's very right. good. Oh, yeah. Super. Oh, oh, you're just one. Oh, it's time for us to say second. goodbye now. Yeah. We're going to go. Goodbye. Bye. I'm going to rescue my balloon It's down stuck there. over there. Go and get it. Yeah. Hold on. Thank <laughs> you.